We're now into exercise 7.10, question 5. Now you can be seen the manufacturer increases the blade length. Now the blade length of course is the exact same as the radius of the strapped area of an old model by a factor of 4.5. And so we can see the door has been increased by a factor of 4.5. And we're asked to work out what is the effect on the power output. And it must be expressed in two decimal places. Now again, as per question 4 in exercise 7.10, we've seen that the power output is equal to a half rho A V cubed times COP. If we make the assumption the only thing that has changed is the radius, the only parameter that's changing on the right hand side is the swapped area. And so power output is proportional to the swapped area of this turbine. But of course the area is equal to pi or squared. And so we can now say that the power output is proportional to pi or squared. Just a new way of re-representing the area, which of course is equal to pi or squared. But of course pi is constant and so we'll have no bearing on the power output and so we can then say that the power output is proportional to r squared. Now in this question we have increased r squared by a factor of 4.5 and that will take us up to 20.25 r squared. And so when the radius has increased by a factor of 4.5, the power output will also increase effectively mathematically. It will multiply by a factor of 20.25. And that concludes this particular question.